Um, all right, size, you can play the, the basket clip. You can play the basket clip. Yuli, what are we what are we thinking here, brother? <laughs> Frustration coming from Robinson. I love Isaac, man. <laughs> These baskets suck. <laughs> um all right. Yuli, we did have Mr. R reach out. And he said, on Jomez, Yuli sounded as if he may have changed his stance on putting touch and baskets. Just curious. So have you changed your stance looking at that putt? Oh, 1,000% with those baskets. I don't think that putt had too much speed. Here, listen, I walked up because I knew I was going to get, I knew I was going to catch the business from (laughs) Well, yeah, I mean, you you are the basket guru here. Yes, I grabbed a putter. I pushed it up against the pole and oh. I let it go and it flung it out. So it's not the fact that his putts coming in hard and bouncing out. Like you could just place a, a disc like it's this just a in swing. Those, and it pushes it out. So there's nothing you can do. There's no amount of touch. There's only one thing you can do. There's no Eyes amount of touch. That's gonna keep die it. Into the How about hole? you just hit it a little lower? Yeah, I, guess. I don't know. I mean, on that putt though, that's tough. It's an elevated basket, that's right? Possible. Yeah, that's so a gr- that's a great place to hit it. You're not you're as professionals. We're from that distance. That's where we're aiming because you want to give yourself a little leeway to hit higher or hit lower. You're not trying, especially on a high rise. You're not trying to just kind of drop it in there. That's dang near impossible because the amount of loft you have to put on that basket would go another 40 feet or whatever if you're putting it am i crazy he had another one on he had another one on four it looked exactly exactly like it and the year before he had the same thing on the same hole yeah but it Um, cut through am i am i crazy to say this this is a bad look for disc golf you're not crazy it's horrible I, i was i was trying to think of some other sport where this is similar. I can't come up with an example. Okay, Maybe so, someone in chat can come up with an example. Like a ball, a ball toilet bowling around a basketball hoop and, and not going in. It wasn't a good shot. Uh, a lip, a, a putt that lips out wasn't too much speed. I feel like you see it sometimes in, in with refs. Okay, yes. People are saying like the strike zone. So when you have a third party yeah, making the wrong call, the exactly. And then everyone That's being like, oh my like. gosh. But now we can now we can say those refs suck. Yeah. Now we can all point at them and they're the yeah. scapegoat. Here we the scapegoat is the basket, and it's like you can get a different basket. Yeah. So like you don't have a scapegoat here. No, no, it sucks, man. Yeah. Sucks. And to reiterate, because I feel like people forget this part. They just I'm getting I'm getting thrown under the bus all of a sudden again for my comments <laughs> of spit outs. I'm all for having a basket that catches everything. I'm all for it. We don't have that. So that's why I said the comments that I say get better at those things. Because that's what we put on, unfortunately. Yeah. I want a better basket. I want a basket that catches everything. Sure. I'd love that. Should we change the design of discs on putters to where they have little uh, hooks? And so like where you hold, (laughs) where you hold the putter, there's no hooks. And then everywhere else there's hooks. So when you throw it, it just hooks itself. Oh, or instead of chains, instead of metal chains, let's make them Velcro chains. And on the edge of the putter is all Velcro. So it's like those uh, big uh, fair games where you run and like jump as high as you can. <laughs> and you're like in the Velcro suit and you just splat against the wall. That, you just I throw. Like, <laughs> I like my idea. And I get, I get people making fun of me for this and be like, oh my gosh. Yeah. Okay. And they like roll their eyes. But why can't we have just a tiny, teeny, tiny area? To where if you hit that spot, it counts. Even if it comes. Oh, you're back the Aaron Gossage. You're the Aaron Gossage. He just wants like a he wants like a hockey 
thing to where if it hits the area, like the buzzer and the, the and lights up. I want up. it to be a small area. If you hit anywhere on that area, it counts. If you miss that area and it pops out or it cuts through or it pushes out, doesn't count. But a really small, just so there's an exacto. So like why don't we just make a hole? I mean, we could. I, okay. Wait a second. Hold on. Ready for this? There's a hole that's twice the size of a Frisbee because that's literally golf. Two golf balls. Basketball. Two basketballs. Soccer. Doesn't work in soccer. But <laughs> you get my, billion times, but you get my drift. So the hole is twice the size of a Frisbee. Mm-hmm. And it, it's on a mechanical, like electronical basket. And so when you step up to your putt, you can have it square up to your putt and then you putt. And if it goes in the hole, you make it. If it doesn't go in the hole, you miss it. Someone else goes, it goes and it turns the hole to them. And now they go and putt. Problem solved. <laughs> well, you hole. just fixed disc golf, Brody. A hole, baby. Let's putt in holes. <laughs> Oh man. All right. Um How about if it, we just not put on prodigy baskets anymore. Yeah, you're telling me. If you um, can put the disc in the basket, <laughs> let go of the disc, and it goes zoo, <laughs> flies out of it. That's kind of a little silly to me. Uh Bobby says, change nothing and like it. Um Bobby's a little sassy tonight. Yeah. I like, uh, that. I like that, Bobby. Yeah. <laughs> 